Hello, today I want to show you a new Katia modules. This is generative shed metal design. And we will make a bench, metallic one. First of all, we should give the properties of the sheet metal. So I will give the thickness 5 and the default band radius 20 millimeters. I will make the first part of the this sheet metal. So this one it will be the part where we are sitting. I will give a length of 1000 millimeters and this dimension it will be 400. Okay, to make a flat surface here, we will use the command wall, but I want the direction to be on on the ground as well. Okay, so after we did that, I will switch the view to parallel. I will show you why I did that and after I will change it again. So to make the legs of the bench, we will use the command flange that it's available here. The length it will be 350. Okay, and we will make a, a small, let me show you. So we reverse directions. The angle it will be a bit uh, not perpendicular on the ground, it will be a bit um, a bit uh, on the left to make it look nicer. Okay, so I will make now a new band that it will be for our fixation on the ground. This one I will make it for 70 millimeters. I think it's enough for the fixation. The same thing we will do in the opposite uh, direction. Give the direction 350, same radius. And now Wait, wait, I press it wrong. Bend 70. Okay. So we have now the legs. What I want to do now to don't make it so heavy and to look more nicer, I'll make some holes in the table, in the sitting area. So I will make some holes on the, this part. So I will position it the center of the hole at, I don't know, 40 millimeters on this side and 40 for this one. Okay, the diameter, the diameter it will be maybe around 50 millimeters. It will be, I think enough for this and the sizes to be up to next okay for now i think i will make it a bit bigger 20 millimeters now i'll make a rectangular pattern for this hole 
to make it look nicer. This it will be the our surface and direction it will be like that. The space in between them it will be maybe fifty millimeters. We need also the second direction, the same spacing. Let's see how many holes we can make here, maybe 20. Yeah. I think. I think it will be about 51. 51 also here, maybe we we'll check. So here maybe we'll have Eight whole series. Let me make it smaller the distance. And I think it looks okay now. So we have our rectangular pattern now. That it looks very nice. So don't make uh, the video too long, I will don't make the holes here and then we'll start with the rendering of this part. To render, we can use the Photo Studio. And uh, let's say we have this picture that it's good for now. If you want to change that picture, you can go here and use a different picture from the library. But for me, this one is good. So what I want to do, I will position it my bench to have a real view of this one, how it looks in real life. But that, what I want to do now is to see it in a perspective mode, because otherwise I don't know, it will be a, like a flat rendering, so I want to see the perspective mode. It would be more nicer to see it. So I will position it. Here it's our light that we can uh, adjust. If we are looking up on the, the people, let's say, we can see the light is coming from, from here, let's say, in this direction. We can try to to position it our light like this. I will uh, try to explain to you what we have here. So here is the stronger of the light. Here we have the diffusion, so we don't want a strong light. And here is the shadow that uh, we want to use. So if it's soft, we don't see very sharp edges. So for now, I will keep it like this because the render it will take longer if I use this uh, shadows softness. So I will keep it like this. Okay, so after we did that, we can uh, don't have a very long render time. I will use this rendering box where we can render only this part. So let me start the rendering and we can see how it it looks so we don't see the all the holes because it's too far now so this is good so if you want to change the parameters to play a bit to see how it looks it will be very nice for you to understand the things there for now, we didn't uh, do anything to change the material or things like that. To apply the material, you should go here, press on this button, apply material. And maybe we want to paint, not the material, so let me put the sunshine orange. And try to render again to see how it looks. I think. This is a good uh, thing. So that's it for today. I'm waiting for you to see, to tell me if it was hard to make this sheet metal design piece. Yeah.